Throughout time, we have been introduced to many loyal forces of the emperor, and the most loyal among them is undoubtedly the Legio Castilis. For today, I am going to introduce you one of the most loyal forces of the emperor. And even though they are not as loyal as the Gil Castilis, or as many as the Space Marines, or as secret as agents of Citadel, but they are undoubtedly one of the most unique out of all of them, the Sister of Silence, or famously known as Witch Hunters or Huntress, since they are women. And my name is Sky Cloud Knight, and I'm going to review some cards of the Sister of Silence in the game Heart Sarah's Legion. In case you don't know, but I think that at this point you guys all know. But anyway, and talk about some lore. And as its name suggests, the Sister of Silence is made fully of women, who are enhanced by a special gene named Parallel Gene. This type of genes allow them to gain basically immunity to psychic power. And yes, by the way, I know I pronounced it wrong. Trust me, this is very hard to pronounce. And throughout millennia, they are known by the people of Galaxy with many, many names, including the most convenient one, Sister Silent Hood, the Witch Seekers, the Pale Scourge, the Soulless Ones, the No Maidens, the Arine, and the Daughters of a Beast. Now, I won't go through all of them since this is not the point of this video. But I'm just going to introduce this faction to you all and to those who might not understand the system of silence that much. Now, I spent the majority of my time on the Horus Heresy trilogy novels because this is the trilogy, the series that I believe tells the, b the best in telling the story of the Horus Heresy without getting it too far into the 41st millennium. And therefore, I, might, I will summarize their existence their interaction with characters in these novels. Now, before I got too far, I just want to clarify one thing, is that the Sister of Silence played a minor and more supportive role in the Horus Heresy, and at least in this trilogy of the book, as I said, because this book series is the one I'm going to focus on. The Sister of Silence was first introduced or seen by us in the flight of instant with extreme a small rose by assisting the Death Guard who hasn't yet joined the Chaos Force during their battle against the alien Yogao, which I probably pronounced it wrong again, but correct me in the comment below. And then they captured the ship instant in the later part of the novel. Again, not extremely correct, but that's as concise as I can get. The second time we see Sister of Silence Hood. In the, is in the book Tales of Horacy, and they actually have a small story, which is pretty nice. The start is called The Void, and I didn't read that story too much, so I cannot really summarize what happened there. And the third major event we see in them is during the burning of Prospero, because obviously, Thousand Sons a bunch of psychers, and the Sisters of Silence Hood are against psychers. And as you see in the top left, or top right actually, you see a mask sign because this is a sign that you should subscribe. Yes, exactly. The red. I use the color red because I need subscribers. I want subscribers, so subscribe before I talk too much, okay? And then the last time I saw them, at least I saw them, is in the book The Emperor of Mankind. Now you may ask, what? This late? What happened? Well, Simple enough is that Siege of Terror is such a cute trilogy, so you cannot blame me for this. <laughs> I got all of you. And yes, I obviously missed a lot, a lot about their lords because they are pretty minor. And yeah, I'm not trying to say they're bad or something, it's just didn't see them that much of time. And yeah, they have extreme concise lore. Yeah, actually, I told you a lot of concise lore, but anyway. So if you're ready, I think you guys are ready because that's what you guys here for. And speak up, speaking too much stuff already. Let's get to the cards already. Now the first card I'm going to reveal is actually a tactic. Tactic. Wow, I cannot do this anyway. It's called the Cleansing Flame, and it's a tactic that deals two damage to the enemy and its adjacent. Units. It's very similar to many of the Salamanders' troop ability and very similar to the Emperor's 
rats. I don't know what they're called. From the Swiss Mar Space Wolves. Yeah. And it's a really good cost card, so I won't say it's very good, but it's good nonetheless. The second card I'm going to review is actually the Winter Cross, the Vigilator Squad. This squad is 2 energy cost with the 2 attacks and 3 health. And they have a special ability called Rally. I'm just kidding. This is just basically a joke. Anyway, they have the Rally ability which allows them to stun an enemy troop with higher attack. This is extremely useful in the late game because obviously your table is full of troop with higher attacks. However, this troop will not work on the troop with word, obviously. That's always that's we know that all the time. If you are new to this game, you might not know is that word basically immune or the tactic including abilities. And this card is actually not bad as I re realized because it can because it's two cost and it has a one higher health than the average of two and two and they have a regular abilities over in general and this to be fair can be a very good beginning card too since you can have an upper hand in the beginning but if you're playing a faster game that's also useful the last one i was fortunate enough actually to give a legendary one and now let's take a look at this new legendary card it's called the Raptor Guard, which means it is under the direct command of the Solus Queen herself. Powerful, right? But let's take a look at their stats. It has a 7 health and 9 damage. So, averagely, overall, it's actually below the average of a normal 10 cost health card. However, the thing about this troop. That is powerful is that it has a rally of heal 5 to the warlord and it has a flank and terra which means it can literally destroy a troop has a very high percentage of chance to destroy a troop the turn it comes in which is pretty exciting because this troop can literally save you from the edge of dying because 5 health it's a big difference and destroying a troop and heal fire is more a big deal. And think about it. What if you combine this troop with some troop that has the ability to return this troop back to its owner's hand? Think about it. If you can do this in three turns, then you'll be able to heal around 10 health since well the first round you put this troop in, the second round you return this to your hand, the third round you put it back again. 10 health, which means you almost get back around one third of a house or one fourth, which is a lot. Again, it's very powerful. So, there you go, guys. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, yeah, today we'll take a look at some new cards that will be in the new system of Silence Hood. Mm, to be fair, by looking at the card that I'm reviewing, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed, honestly, because I didn't see a lot of witch hunting stuff in it. I just see the same mechanics as before, but with a different play style, basically. I think this is what I'm trying to focus on. Maybe just trying to focus on new play style that will happen in this game instead of like just putting on new mechanics because again Imperial Fist put in a lot of stuff like it's a lot of stuff so maybe they're just gonna maybe relax a little bit but yeah uh, I'm kind of sad that the, the sister of Silence who didn't get to get their own road they have to be infantry this is kind of the worst road you can get in this game kind of to be fair but uh, yeah um Despite that, this is kind of it. I kind of, I can't bring watch anything out. Okay, seriously. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, yeah, tomorrow will be the release of the Sister of Silence Hood, which 
like the others, I'm pretty excited because I actually asked them how are they going to do the he the interaction between the warlord in the sister of Silence Hood with the other warlord, and they replied. They said that they're going to do something more interesting than just hand gesture, which again I'm pretty excited about. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please consider leave a like button if you want to see more video on Horror Terror the Legion and uh, more things like this. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah, see the red mark, see the mask there. It means you, you should subscribe. Yeah, just, just hand mouse there, there. But anyway, I will see you guys later. Stay healthy and also stay positive. Goodbye, everyone.